we're on the M62 motorway and this house that we're coming up to now, for those of you that have never been on the M62, it's one of the busiest motorways in the northwest. And this house, right in the middle, so you can see the land starting to extend. And you see the house just in the distance, a little white house. Cream, all right, white, whatever. Um, we call that the little house on the prairie. And the story is, and I don't know how true this is, the story is that the when the motorway was built, or when it was being built, and they prospect the land, the farmer refused to, to sell his land, so he's lived in this so we refuse to sell his land now we do know that there's like tunnels through the, underneath the road for him to get on either side because the fields on either side of his from what I can gather but it, it turns out that he refused to move and he still lives there now you still see him pottering about especially in, in the springtime obviously when it's lambing season because he has quite a lot of sheep um, you tend to see them up over the tops when we come that way but it always fascinates me that house Another thing, my mum used to call this the state of the, my used to call this state of the art bridge, the Fred Dibner bridge. Now for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, he used to like steam engines and he actually drove a steam engine across it at like five miles an hour. Well that's the Fred Dibner bridge. So we've arrived and I'm going to show you the view in a second. We're just going to go over a mini roundabout. Now, we used to live up here so we have, a, well we know the area quite well. But the, the view that I'm going to show you now is one of my favourites. Especially when we travel up here from where we live. It's only a couple of hours away, but I love it. Bear with me. Round the roundabout. Right. Get ready. And there is the sea. Now, those in the sea, people go absolutely. I absolutely love the wind turbines. They fascinate me. They have done for years, and I know people hate them, but I don't. And we're literally staying on the coast overlooking that. Sure as sure as eggs are eggs, there'll be some crazy people out there today in the ocean. It's 13 degrees right here right now. I did not know eggs are eggs. Shut up you. Eggs are eggs? Of course eggs are eggs. When? They've always been eggs. Eggs have always been eggs, so why are eggs eggs? And now you know why we're dyslexic and delusional, because Paul really is delusional. As I say, as eggs are eggs. Well, soldiers are soldiers, but that don't mean you have to say eggs are eggs. <laughs> so anyway, um, <coughs> we've arrived. We're obviously heading for the hotel now. 99% of the time, the room's ready for us to get there. Oh, they're out with the boats. Well, that went really well. I completely missed it. I actually cancelled the, the uh, recording and couldn't spin my camera around in time. Um, but there's a little... Uh, just above the, the fence line there's people in the that live in the area that have um, like obviously remote radio. control boats radio control boats Paul calls it um, <laughs> and they take them out on, they take them out on that little lake and it, they're quite good actually there was a TV program about them weren't there yeah. a while ago um, so yeah absolutely stunning up here we love it Obviously, we went back to where we live uh, due to the fact that my mum. Um, but we were up here for three years. Did we live up here? Uh, no, about two, two, about two years, two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years we did up here. Um, and do you know what? To be fair, it was fabulous. But it, this is the thing that people don't realise: you might live near the sea, but you very rarely go and visit. We were. It was work and everything, wasn't it? And then by the time we'd finished work, it was like collapse in a heap and start again the following day wasn't it yeah they, i think we went to the seaside probably three times if that um but yeah this this is the view absolutely stunning but we're uh as you can see So that 
is how they used to save lives. They were the boats that they used, actual rowing boats. And this, all the way up, is the oldest lifeboat in the world. I'll just have a, I don't think I've ever been inside it. I don't even know what days it opens or anything, but the actual original lifeboat is actually in there. They look from 1802, built in 1802. So that's where we are. So this is the map of Red Car. So everything that there is, but I'm going to step back so you can see the whole of the map. Quite a lot going on, quite a lot on the seafront. So we're just walking back up now to our hotel. Me. Um, Paul and Ryan have gone ahead because they're cold. Me and Deanna are built a bit better, that's what it is. We're not as, uh, we don't feel the cold as much, do we? No, because we're sensible and wrap up. <laughs> Although I have been walking around in a jumper, I did have my coat with me, but I have been walking around in a jumper all day. So yeah, it's time for tea, so we're going to go back to the hotel now and actually order food at their restaurant. Um, and just chill out for the rest of the night, I think. Um, I don't think, to be fair, we've had a bit of a, we, we always come to Red and do the same thing. We always go in the charity shops and then we always go and play bingo, don't we? Yeah. We play bingo at the same place all the time. So that's pretty much what we've done today. Stick around, see what else we get up to. So we see this all the time and we never actually stop to look at it. So I'm just gonna, I'll show you what it is in a second. But I'm gonna stop and let you read it. And this is it. I'm having to step right back. It's massive, absolutely massive. But it's a memorial, I mean, I absolutely love that. And then next door, we have Red Car Pier, which this is new, new. We haven't seen this before. I didn't even know there was a pier here, did you? No. But then you, if you look out... I don't think it's here. Yeah, it used to be here, didn't it? Yeah, it's there. 1875. Right. It's gale, it? So, it says red car on there. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see it from here. But you can see the mountains in the very distance. That's red car all the way out there. This is what we're looking at. 